smart hello to everyone today is a very special class case series 4 and i am saurabh jain welcome you on behalf of bi-analytics.org website where we are doing free advanced ms excel course business intelligence and analytics with excel so today is a very important lecture and i am sure when you will after watching this video for say 10 to 15 minutes you will enjoy and you will save ample amount of time in your office hours and it will boost your productivity today we will give, have a glimpse of a little bit of power query in excel but we will not go into detail but today is how we can automate the things so title is combining all files in a folder combining all files in a folder overview of a power query with example look it happens in a company when we are making some reports as a mis head as a business intelligence person and every month there is a report of say sales report it can be any finance report and we have to merge reports we have to combine all the reports and create a new report consolidated report so we will talk about we'll take one example in this and we'll try to discuss how automation can be done a person who works 8 hours for this will have to just work 1 hour in 30 days so this is so fabulous thing so let's start let's take a case overview we have an example of monthly report given what it is like it is a transaction date account account b and the department and this is a sum of amount so we have to sum all the total transactions so this is the report say of the february month 2008 fine so every month such report is being created january february march april may and then it will be a new year coming up so like reports are coming up you have to combine all these reports create a single excel file and you have to merge them up so month wise reports are prepared and you have as a business intelligence manager you have been given a task to combine all the data in one sheet and prepare the consolidated summary so first task is combine all the sheets it can have 30 sheets or 40 sheets fine and also you have to keep updating the report so every month the report will come and you have to add new report and you have to update and create the final dashboard So this is the objective. So let's start. How can we do this with the help of Excel? Methodology. Suppose, imagine there are there are three files right now in my folder. So we will place all the files in same folder. First of all is that we'll keep all the files in the same folder. Assuming all files have same format. This is more important. I am assuming that everything is fine and it's totally similar. We will combine all the files in the folder. and make the report once the report is ready every month place the new csv file in the same folder and we'll refresh the query so this is how we will work we'll refresh all the files and we'll do the work let's see how it can be done so let's begin let's let me open the excel and start working for you excel remember idea is not to teach you how this works but to show you a demonstration there can be some uh, very small things that if this happens what to do if that happens we are not looking we are thinking that everything is correctly fine right now and there is nothing to be concerned so let's start so first i'll go into the data tab remember i am using the latest excel so you have to use at least 2013 excel or you should have a latest version of the excel or office 365 so let's move into let's data now i say get data from file and i go into the from folder so this is my from folder where i have kept all my files let's begin so first of all we need to browse that folder fine we will tell the computer to browse it okay so here comes browse uh, i have that in my f drive so i'll go into this pc i select f drive and i say one reports and in one reports i have a folder called start this is my report folder where i have kept all the three files fine i click okay so once i click okay it shows that the folder has three files csv 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 now it may happen it may hide a jpg file also other files also so you can uh, right now i have only three files and we'll make sure but okay let's do one thing i'll say transform this data and i filter only csv files for you 
there can be so number of transformations we are not learning what is a transformation right now we are just giving you an overview in next tutorials we will be learning how this actually take place fine so look when i click on transform there is a extension coming up and i say test filter equals and i am filtering only the dot csv files the idea is this i say dot csv file and i say okay so once i did this thing now every time if there is a say 10 files in the folder some other extensions they all will be filtered up fine this has been done assuming that they all have a same format i just click on this button it will say combine files the process will start and it will show you the result like this you can say skip the errors or something right now there are no errors so i'll just move ahead i click on okay so it is evaluating the query and here comes my data now there are so many processes filtered row renamed column one removed other columns exported table there are things uh, i will teach you in the coming tutorials but let's now imagine that this has been done so now i say close and load to in load to because i don't want i want to do the existing worksheet i say okay so till now what is done is that we had 6087 rows and there are three errors also okay i'm just ignoring the errors and we keep this thing fine so now we have the file ready with three files been merged okay so now let's create a pivot table i say data sorry i say insert pivot table and i say in the existing worksheet only and maybe let me select this as a g2 okay i click this okay so here is my pivot table and say i say transaction date i say sum of amount fine and i also say department so this is my report i'm not taking department right now let's see it is summing up a department so for the timing i'm just taking this date okay so our objective is to how to combine files not the pivot tables so this is the report i am having now what i want to do is that um, my data is ready now there are three some issues there's a blanks it means in my data there was some issues if i tell you that blanks so like it, what it actually it was doing some three cells like this also so we need to re remove this blank cells which we have not done so no issues or what you can do is so these are the three files the sum who's coming up so right now i am ignoring this thing and i'll again do it as a selector fine let it be here so my report has been combined so now what i want to do is now every time i want to have this report so this is for jan february march now let's my auto updation process is ready now let's move let's add some files into it so what i'll do is now see we have this february january march three files available now i go into this and i have this folder which has more files i just copy this folder and put into the same folder fine or even i can place the just files also but right now i am just doing the folders okay now let's go again into our excel and say hey excel please refresh my work i go into data and i say refresh all so look see now there are 25712 files so everything has been done in a flash of a second now i can just say refresh the data hello excel refresh and now report has been for all the months so this is the magic this this is the automation we have done 
So now say every time a month Excel file comes and you are happy with this thing. Okay, let's do, we have, uh, this was the data for 2008. Let's take other years also. So what I'll do is, I'll go to this report and I add these 2009-2010 also, control C. And I put in this. So actually you can keep the files folder wise your structure is safe. You don't have to do anything. Fine. Now let's move. So, and now I say, we have 25,712 rows right now. Fine. Refresh. Sorry. I have to refresh this one. Refresh all. I have to first refresh our query. Look, now it has 60,165 rows. That is amazing. So in a flash of second, we have combined all the files. And now when I refresh this one, so data has changed, but actually it has done for month. It has done January, February, March, everything like this. So we have to group it out. Say I go into this and uh, when I click on this cell, there is a group and I can say group selection. So I have to add year also, which has not been done because earlier when we made the report, the data was only for 2008. So it was not able to make years. It made only for months, but now we have done this thing. So let's click OK. So look, we have a report available. I can say collapse all. Collapse. See. Collapse to month karte. Span collapse to month. See, so I have reports like this available, and this is amazing report. Right, it's collapsing all. Uh -huh. Collapse to years. So look, we have this years data available. We can do it for collapse to month. Expand to months. Like this, we have available report, and that report is available the way we want to do it. So we can do collapse and everything, that is fine. So the idea is to tell you how to update the report. Hope you all have got it. So I'm sure you must have enjoyed this video. Please write in the comment whether it will be useful in your office or not, whether it's a great learning. Because I have seen people working in a MS department entire for a month for five to six hours every day, and this has been done with a click of seconds. So hope you will enjoy this thing and will learn. Today, there is no practice files, nothing. This was just a showcase and demo to you that how we are doing up. But it is important. Keep learning all the video tutorials. Fine. So, I request you all join the complete course on bi-analytics.org, which is completely free. There is no fees you have to give. I am enjoying teaching to you. I am learning. I am creating some examples and teaching you all. This is fantastic. Thing. So, I want you all to be part of the system. Look, on the website, we have a course BI-Analytics for Excel that we are doing right now. We have a VB Excel programming, which is I'm trying to write tutorials. This is a Google Data Studio where we'll be learning about how to do Google Data Studio. So idea is to learn business intelligence, machine learning, various things, step by step. We cannot do everything together. And, and I'm the only one teacher. I request you all, if you are a good people in teaching, join me in this portal and we'll have a learning together. But idea is it has to be free, free learning. Fine. Okay. Ah, there's one more thing. Look, right now we are applying our Excel skills, but Excel is still applied into some verticals. It can be financial modeling, it can be sales and sales and marketing, it can be supply chain analytics, it can be statistics, actuarial modeling, it can be HR analytics, uh, it can be energy infrastructure project management. I had done people doing energy modeling in this Excel. Actually, I have done in 2007 for University of California 300 building campuses, strategic energy plan. So it was fun working on Excel using index offset formulas, but now Excel is completely changing. So it is about first of all learning Excel tools. Second is applying our business skills also into it. Then it becomes business intelligence. So the smart thing is the website has now almost 3,700 members on this website from different domains. So I want you all to come up and take the lead, ask your questions, not just about Excel, but talk about this 
supply chain analytics, statistical analysis, financial modeling, because every business has some different KPIs, energy modeling, uh, KPIs, key key performance indicators. So it is about not just Excel, it is about business intelligence. So I request you all, please join this website. It will be great fun to be part of a great corporate leaders on the one platform. Remember, this entire section has been made on the forums on bi-analytics.org. So I'm waiting for you all that you will join. You are an expert in energy modeling. You are an expert of financial modeling. Start your blog on this website. I, I give you an opportunity. Come up and join. Share your experience. You have one idea and we have another. We will exchange. We'll have a couple of more ideas coming together. So once again, I request you join the website, which is bi-analytics.org. Join the club. BI Analytics with Excel. Share your learning by commenting on the tutorials. It is important. I always see comments from you, whether it was useful or not for you. Please, I am waiting for hundreds and thousands of comments on this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please do comment and ask your problems in the forums. Please ask your in the problems in the forums. When you will ask forum problems, other will also chip into answer. So it is about creating an online community for business intelligence and seeking your presence. So look forward for you. Thank you once again. Thanks a lot. Good day.